school is coming to sixth grade from the Pleasantons after school. And today, I'll be performing The Three Little Pigs by Rose Dahl. The animal I really dig, above all others, is the pig. Pigs are noble, pigs are clever, pigs are courteous. However, now and then we should break this rule when we meet the pig who is a fool. What, for example, would you say if strolling through the woods one day, right there in front of you, you saw a pig who built his house of straw? The wolf who saw it licked its lips and said, This pig has had his chip. <clears throat> Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, 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 let me hear your mouth. Chin, chin, chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. The wolf said. The little pig began to pray. But Whoopi blew his house away. He shouted, bacon, pork, and ham. Oh, what a lucky wolf I am. And though he ate his pig quite fast, he carefully kept the tail till last. Wolf wandered on, a trifle bloated. Surprise, surprise, for soon he noted. Another little house for a pig, but this one had been built of twigs. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, let's have a mark. Ching, ching, ching. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. The wolf said, okay, here we go. Then he began to blow and blow. The little pig began to squeal. He cried, oh, you have one meal. Why can't we talk and make a deal? The wolf replied, not on your belly. And soon the pig was in his belly. Two juicy little pigs, the wolf cried, but I'm still not quite satisfied. I know how full my tummy is bulging, but oh, how I adore indulging. So creeping quietly as a mouse, the wolf approached another house. A house which also had inside a little piggy trying to hide. You will not get me, the piggy cried. I'll blow you down, the wolf replied. You will need, pig said, a lot of puff, and I just don't think you've got enough. The wolf puffed and puffed and blew and blew, but the house stayed up, good as new. If I can't blow you down, the wolf said, blow you up instead. I'll be back in the dead of night and blow you up, dynamite. The pig cried, you brute, I might have known. And then picking up the telephone, he dialed as quickly as he could the number of Red Riding Hood. Hello, she said, who's speaking to you? Oh, hello, the piggy, how do you do? The pig cried, I need to help this one. Once more, the maiden eyes and lips flickered as she drawed the pistol from her knickers. Once more, she hits the vital spot and kills him with a single shot. Pig, peeping through the window, stood and yelled, Well done, brave Miss Bridie Hood! Ah, piglet, you must never trust young ladies from the upper crust. For now, Miss Bridie Hood, one knows not only has two wolfskin coats, but when she goes from place to place, she has a pigskin traveling.